Welcome back to Melbourne 22. And we're about to take you back, way back, to your old high school days. Uh. Ah, high school. What kind of student were you, Anna? Well, you know, it's funny you ask that, Aaron. Mm. I was actually told off a few times for being a bit of a class clown. No. Yeah. You. Yeah, but I was actually definitely, sh like, I was so shy, though, up until Wait. that year 10 and then something went terribly wrong. I couldn't do public speaking. I hated it. That's how it happens, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oral mm -hmm. presentation. Mm -mm, not me. Sweats. <laughs> the whole works. Did you study history? Well, I, I assume I did. Yes, I did. Mrs. Flunfall was my history teacher. Big shout out, Mrs. Flunfall. Very dry. Look, I know yep. most history classes these days are all about the French or Russian revolutions, but how much do you actually know about Melbourne? We went to the Queen Victoria Market to find out. Officially opening under the name Queen Victoria Market in 1878, this lively, eccentric marketplace used to be Melbourne's first cemetery. The market was one of the first to have purpose-built structures, in particular the Meat Hall, which is the oldest building on the site and one of the few original buildings still standing. In the 1950s, food vans became more and more popular. The American Donut Kitchen is still run by the family who originally owned it. The market has a history of being a popular spot for all retail, produce and wholesale needs. There's everything from meat and fresh fruit to all the Australian merchandise you'll ever need. Being the oldest standing market to date, it's seen a few renovations in its time. The newest being the food court, offering a wide variety of cuisines showcasing the very best of Melbourne's multiculturalism. That's all folks, stay tuned for some more History of Melbourne. Hot jam donuts. There you go. Who needs school? Melbourne 22, bit of a history lesson for you. Hot right. jam. I don't. History, yes, was wonderful, but the hot jam donuts at the Queen Victoria Markets, bag of six. This is why she was no good at school. Amazing, but be careful, just blow on it before because hot jam can be dangerous. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. Mm. Definitely want to mm. check your temps on that one. <laughs> well, it's come to that time of the night. Not that time of the night. <laughs> no, she wants to go on. No, she doesn't. That. Uh, where you have to make that hard decision of what to watch next. It's a hard life, Aaron. It's a hard life. Now, thank you for tuning in to our very first episode of Season 3. Mm. The crowd goes wild. Hallelujah. Now, here's a little preview of what's to come in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Love a bit of magic. Love it. Hey? Yeah. Exciting times ahead. Now we suspect that you like us. Hey? Well, you we know. suspect that you like us. Yeah. If not, we'll try a little harder. Uh, but you might be social media addicts, so well, most people are these days. We've got an Instagram page up and running mm -hmm. these days. I'm on Instagram as well, Pushing actually. With the Anna K. Burgess, follow me. I've only got two photos up, but um, you know, hoping for more. I'm not yet on Instagram, but I'll yeah. work on that. Yeah. Um, Twitter. Uh, Twitter me at Aaron Mack. Details on the bottom of the screen there. Yep. And if they're not, come on, guys, get your act together. Beautiful. Or if you don't want to follow us personally, which is totally understandable, we've also got Facebook and Twitter, obviously, for Melbourne 22 to keep up to date with mm. everything that we're up to. Mm -mm. Don't forget to tune in next week. We'll be catching up with three-time, yep, that's right, uh, Australian hockey champions, the Melbourne Ice, and taking a closer look at Melbourne's love of cinema. Mm. <laughs> to take us out tonight, we have The Habits performing their latest hit, I'm lost. You're doing really well, I think. I'm lost. Yeah. Thanks, Melbourne. Same time next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.